The Japanese government has officially started a timeline for a new fighter jet designed to maintain an aerial advantage over potential North Korean and Chinese adversaries. The unnamed fighter, which will be optimized for air-to-air -air combat, will replace the Mitsubishi F-2 fighter jet, which was originally based on the American F-16 Fighting Falcon. Japan had originally planned to replace its fleet of 200-plus F-15J Eagle fighters with the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, but the U.S. Congress, fearing a leak of F-22 technology if the plane were sold abroad, passed a law to prohibit the jet's export. The X-2 will be used as a technology demonstrator and a research prototype to determine whether domestic advanced technologies for a fifth-generation fighter aircraft are viable. Japan is purchasing 157 F-35 Joint Strike Fighters and will continue to fly approximately 90 Mitsubishi F-2s, a larger, more robust version of the F-16, first developed in the 1990s. The F-2 will age out in the 2030s when the new jet will take its place. It is unclear how many planes Japan would ultimately build or whether or not it would be offered on an international fighter market. Given the extreme cost of developing a fighter, Tokyo will probably try to sell as many jets overseas as possible. The twin-engine FX will integrate advanced technologies, including remote drone control capabilities, a VR-style helmet-mounted display, and a radar that can double as a microwave weapon to fry enemy missiles. It will be designed to exchange sensory data with Japanese and US forces and have a capacity for at least six internally stored weapons, including ground-to-air and anti-ship missiles, though air-to-air -air will be its primary weapon. The aircraft features 3D thrust vectoring capability. Thrust is controlled by the ATDX, by three paddles on each engine nozzle, similar to the system used on the Rockwell X-31, while an axis symmetric thrust vectoring engine is also being developed for a full-scale production model. Among the planned features of the X-2 is a flyby optics flight control system, which by replacing traditional wires with optical fibers, allows data to be transferred faster with immunity to electromagnetic disturbance. Its radar will be an active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, called Multifunction RS Sensor, which is intended to have broad spectrum agility, capabilities for electronic countermeasures, ECM, electronic support measures, ESM, communication functions, and possibly even microwave weapon functions. A further feature will be so-called self-repairing flight control capability, which will allow the aircraft to automatically detect failures or damage in its flight control surfaces, and using the remaining control surfaces, calibrate accordingly to retain controlled flight. The X-2 was equipped with two XF-5 engines for the test flights. Japan's acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency took the lead. The agency built the Advanced Technology Demonstrator, or ATDX, a small-scale demonstrator that flew 34 sorties in 2016 and 17. ATLA also oversaw 14 other programs, developing the underlying technology for an operational stealth fighter, focusing on sensors, data links, and weapons bays, in addition to the experimental XF-9-1 engine. Tokyo toyed with paying a foreign firm to design the F-3. Lockheed Martin proposed a new stealth fighter type, combining aspects of the company's F-22 and F-35. Ultimately, the government decided to go with a Japanese design, albeit the components from a US firm, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, and UK company, BAE Systems. Japanese officials have been clear about what they want from the F-3. We will emphasize network functions and demand high stealth performance. Japanese Defense Minister Taro Kono said it will carry more missiles than the F-35. The conventional takeoff F-35A in its current configuration can carry just four AIM-120 air-to-air missiles in its internal bays. 
the F3's range requirement is unclear, but it would be surprising if the F3 had a shorter combat radius than the F-35 does, 590 miles. Mitsubishi, which has produced all of Japan's modern fighters, usually under license from a foreign firm, will build the F-3. The Japanese Air Force operates 350 fighters, a mix of license-built US F-4s, F-15s, and F-35s, and Japanese-designed F-2s. The F-2, in essence, is an enlarged F-16. In addition to acquiring 141 F-35s, Japan is committed to upgrading 102 F-15s, meaning it could require as many as 107 F-3s if it plans to maintain its fighter inventory. That's roughly consistent with the F-2 program's 94 plane production run that ended in 2011. If the F-2 is any indication, those 100 or so F-3s will be very, very expensive. Owing to Japan's unique requirements, its insistence on domestic production and the small production run, the F-2 ended up costing four times as much per plane as an F-16 does. It should shock no one if a single F-3 sets back Japanese taxpayers several hundred million dollars. Not coincidentally, that's around as much as an F-22 costs. But the F-22 program, which produced 195 aircraft, benefited from greater economy of scale, implying that the F-3 might actually cost more than the F-22 did. For Japan, it might be worth it. The island country has hostile neighbors with their own slowly growing fleets of stealth fighters. China operates 39 J-20s, and more enter service every year. Russia is flying the first 10 of its many 76 Su-57s. Japan faces armed pressure from its neighbors. Japan has territorial disputes with both China and Russia, and Beijing and Moscow regularly fly warplanes near Japanese airspace to show force. North Korea, although equipped with an aging and largely obsolete air force, is armed with nuclear weapons and considers Japan an enemy state. Japanese strategy and military doctrine are changing fast as regional tensions rise. Pacifism is enshrined in Japan's post-war constitution, compelling leaders to frame all military capabilities as defensive. Which is why the Japanese Navy calls its aircraft carriers helicopter destroyers, and why officially the F-13 is strictly an air-to-air -air fighter. Count on the F-3 eventually carrying cruise missiles. However, Tokyo is investing heavily in the new ASM-3 anti-ship missiles and stealthy joint strike missiles that, in addition to sinking ships, can destroy targets on land. In 1941, Japan had one of the most sophisticated aircraft industries in the world, able to challenge US air power with its famous Zero Fighter. Just a few years later, it was all gone. After the Second World War, US occupiers banned aircraft production, prohibited aeronautical research, and broke up industrial giants, such as Nakajima and Mitsubishi. By the time the restrictions were lifted in 1952, the rest of the world had entered the jet age, and Japan was a bystander in the Cold War arms race. Ever since, Japan has been trying to find its way back into aerospace. With the nation's traditional mainstays of automobiles and electronics under threat from new technologies and competitors emerging in Asia, the growth and profitability of the aircraft look more and more attractive. It's one of the few growth industries, the technology level is high, and the strength in the aerospace industry has knock-on effects for other industries and for small and medium-sized companies, says Hiroyuki Hatada, Director of Aerospace and Defense Section in the Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry. Japan has a 70% global market share in carbon fiber materials. The wings of the Boeing 787 are made in Nagoya by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. While Kawasaki Heavy makes the forward fuselage and Subaru provides the center wing box. Component suppliers include Nabtesco, which makes actuators, Sumitomo Precision, which makes landing gear, and Panasonic, which is a leading provider of in-flight entertainment systems. Another company wrestling with the conundrum of systems versus components is IHI, 
Japan's champion in jet engine business. IHI technology is used in engine programs such as the GENX, the most used engine for the Boeing 787. Aerospace has grown to become the main pillar of IHI's business, displacing shipbuilding and other areas of heavy industry. The question is where to go from here. Risk in the engine business is very high, says Mitsuo Imamura, head of IHI's aerospace research and development. For a single company to take on a whole program is extremely difficult. He says US companies GE and Pratt and & Whitney and UK's Rolls-Royce have the experience of completing engine programs and the links with the aircraft manufacturers. IHI's goal is to develop unique technologies that make it a valued partner. Mr. Imamura points especially to IHI's use of carbon fiber materials, building on Japan's broader strength in that field. For Pratt & Whitney's PW1100G, IHI is providing a featherweight fan case built from carbon fiber composites. For Japan's Ministry of Defense, however, IHI has developed a complete engine. It recently delivered the XF-9-1, a prototype engine for a future Japanese fighter jet. The growing military strength of China makes Japan all the more determined to retain sophisticated aerospace capabilities of its own. However, defense officials say Japan is now leaning towards joint development of a fighter with another country, most likely the US, because the hurdles in time, cost, and technology are so high for a homegrown project. We hope you liked the video, and we want to know which one is your favorite. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon down below if you want to make sure to never miss out on important new information like this.